Welcome to today's video from Lamont Wellness. I'm Dr. Tiffany Lamont, and today we're going to be talking about sleep habits. I actually struggle with this. I have a really difficult time sleeping, and I have a difficult time staying asleep. And my primary problem is I have a really, really hard time turning my brain off. And things run through my mind in cycles. And I'm going to first talk about one of the things that I do that helps me a lot, and then I'm going to come up, I'm going to list a few things that I also do sometimes, as well as things that have been found to be helpful. First of all, for me, because what is happening is that I can't stop the list running, running through my head, I have these notebooks that I make lists in. So if I wake up at say 1.30 in the morning and my mind is just going crazy, then what I do is I actually will write down everything that's running through my mind. Sometimes it's gibberish, sometimes it's my moments of genius and I look back at them and they really help develop my plans for the future. Other times I throw them away. But that does help remove it from my conscious mind and allow my mind to rest again. There's also a number of other things that you can do. Um, I'll, I'll list some of the things that I actually implement in my life. Um, first of all, I'm a big fan of taking baths in the evening, especially if you add some essential oils or a scent that you associate with sleep. So make sure it's a scent you don't use in your day time. So I have an essential oil blend that I'll put in a bathtub that, will, that I only use at night, and that helps me sort of trigger my brain to realize that it's time to go to bed. Other thing is, first of all, I don't drink caffeine at all. I, if anybody knows me, if I have caffeine, I'm going to go into orbit, and I would be the most annoying person ever, and I will never sleep again. But if you are someone that consumes caffeine, you probably want to stop around noon, but definitely you need to discontinue it by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But generally speaking, I recommend by noon. Um, also, you can develop sort of a bedtime routine. And this is, again, trying to get your body to realize it's time for bed. And that could be different for everyone. But the big thing that we culturally do now, that's a kind of a shift in the last couple decades, is we spend so much time on our electronics. And people have televisions in their bedroom, which if you talk to any sleep specialist, that is a huge no-no. And we also will look on our iPads and things like that up until the moment we go to bed, Kindles, things like that. And really, the, the evidence has been shown to, though that, to show that that really disrupts your ability to fall asleep. So check out from your electronics well before bedtime and no TV in the bedroom. There's a bunch of other things that you can do to help you sleep. If you want any more information on that, please feel free to call us or contact us at lamonwellness.com. And if you like our videos, subscribe and you can get them every time we make one. Thanks.